Hi everyone, welcome to Zynerd's Neat PG Information Series. All India Round 2 registration has started and cho choice filling is expected to start anytime now. Currently, you would be seeing only those choices uh, that have been newly added in All India Round 2. The rest of the choices will be added uh, subsequently when choice filling starts. There were a lot of queries on the consent and unlocking registration form that uh, popped up when uh, All India Round 1 registered candidates were trying to log in for All India Round 2. In this video, we'll try to explain what consent, what the consent form is, what whether to give yes or no, and similarly, what the unlocking registration form is and when to give yes for unlocking the registration. Uh, we'll also have a look at what is the impact of each of these choices. It is pretty simple, but there have been a lot of there's been a lot of confusion, so we'll try to address that. Uh, one before we move into this entire uh, consent uh, and un unlocking registration part. Some important pointers for all India round two. We are re repeating it again so that there's no confusion. One fresh choice is for all. Consent, unlocking, all India round one seat status like free exit, joined and resigned, was not allotted. Holding a state or own seat doesn't matter. Fresh choices for all. You will see a blank choice list and you will have to start adding choices. Your round one choices will not re be reflecting there when you log in. I can add any choice that is available. So be very clear. You can you'll be able to add any choice that is available for your category, for your co for the quotas that you have registered for. So if there is a choice in the choice list, you will be able to add that. Where you put that choice in your All India Round One choice list will not matter. And whether you were allotted that All India Round that choice as your All India Round One seat and you did not join doesn't matter. You'll be able to add all the choices that are available in the choice list. You can move choices anywhere, even if a choice was below your All India Round on allotted seat and you did or did not join that All India Round on allotted seat, you will be able to move it even above your allotted All India Round on seat choice. You can move any choice anywhere. It is a fresh choice list that is very clear. And second one is if you've already registered in All India Round 1, let's say you are registered in All India Round 1 and you don't want to change your quota. You have registered for AAQ and DNB only. And then you want to continue with AAQ plus BNB, the same registration will work. It doesn't matter whether you were allotted a seat you were, and you did not join, whether you were allotted a seat, you joined and then resigned, whether you were not allotted a seat, whether you hold any other seat, doesn't matter. Same registration as AAR1 will be available for you to log in. You'll have to make a choice in case you want to add any quota to it. In case you want to add deemed quota, if you are not registered for deemed earlier, that is when you need to change, make a change in registration. Otherwise, it is the same registration as All India Round 1 for all All India Round 1 registered candidates. So with this, we'll get into consent and uh, unlocking. Consent, uh, there's, there was a pop-up which came up uh, when you would, uh, would have logged in uh, with your All India Round 1 registration. It would have said uh, confirm before proceeding and it would have said candidate consent. Uh, there was an option to say whether you want to whether, select whether you want to participate in round two of counseling. There were certain disclaimers. We'll uh, come to that at a later point in time. Uh, it just said uh, once a candidate tops, it cannot be reversed. And uh, if a new seat is allotted, your previous seat gets cancelled. So these are simple things that we already know. Now, when should you give consent? So here you will select yes or no and enter your password and then go ahead with the next stage So uh, of choice filling. So when should you give yes or no? Anyone who is interested in participating or filling choices in All India Round 2 should give yes. Your All India Round 1 seat status is not relevant for giving consent. You are not allotted, free exited, joined and resigned, joined and continuing your All India with your All India Round 1 seat or your state Round 1 seat. Whatever it is, if you wish to fill choices for All India Round 2, give yes, yes, yes for consent. And fresh choice filling for all, whether you give consent as uh, yes doesn't matter. If you give consent, your fresh choice filling doesn't change. Like we said, fresh choice filling for everyone. If you give consent, you will be able to fill in choices. That is the only difference. If you want to fill in choices, give consent and yes and go fill fresh choices. Who shouldn't give consent or rather who need not give consent? I've already joined an All India Round 1 seat. I did not opt for upgradation. I know that that is my final seat and therefore I did not opt for upgradation. This point doesn't even arise. You will say no for consent or you just don't need to do anything at all to retain. Second, I am not interested in participating in All India Round 2. Maybe I am holding an All India Round 1 seat like in the first scenario that we discussed or I am not interested in participating even in even though I don't hold a seat, I have a state seat or I am not interested in NEET PG 2021 at all. 
you don't need to hold give some consent as long as you don't want to fill choices in all india round in case you have already uh, your security deposit uh, you have registered for all india round round and uh, uh, you are worried about your security deposit don't worry this consent doesn't matter your security deposit will be refunded i already joined an all india round round seat and i wish to retain it don't need to do anything don't need to give consent we'll go to the next part of uh, next uh, part of this video and then you will be able to i mean we'll let you know what to do in that case there's nothing that needs to be done to retain a round one seat no need to fill choices if you don't do anything you will retain your all india round one joint seat but keep looking for mcc notifications on a daily basis if there is anything that needs to be done if you are in any of these categories then mcc will notify keep looking for notifications but as of now nothing needs to be done as far as all india round 2 is concerned if you are in any of these four categories these three categories and when you log in there were a lot of queries on consent one i have been allotted an all india round 1 seat and i opted for upgradation i wish to retain my all india round 1 seat what to do nothing needs to be done we suggest that you don't consent or log in you will still retain your all india round 1 seat let's say you consented and said yes i am a little worried i said yes to all india round 2 what will happen nothing will happen if you don't fill choices if you still wish to retain your all india round 1 seat just don't fill choices even if you had said yes for consent don't worry about it your all india round 1 seat will be retained but keep looking for mcc notifications if there is something that needs to be done by you for retaining the all india round 1 seat mcc will notify till last year there was nothing that was required and even now as per the information brochure nothing is required to retain a joined and continuing all india round 1 seat do not worry about the consent whether you gave yes doesn't matter just don't fill choices if you did not do anything just don't consent at all don't need to log in to you will still retain your all india round 1 seat i have been allotted an all india round 1 seat and i opted for upgradation i do not want to wish my all india uh, wish to retain my all india round 1 seat now and wish to exit all india round 1 council so i i have an all india round 1 seat in hand i want to quit it and i want to quit all india round 1 counseling completely will this consent option is this consent option relevant for me this is a question that many candidates have asked as on date one on your quitting the all india round 1 seat part there is no option today you will not be able to quit your all india round 1 seat till the end of all india round 2 results that is not possible today as of now look for notifications in mcc the consent option is a new option that has come up it may not be relevant for all india round 1 exit that is if you want to quit your all india round 1 seat this is not relevant as how we understand it today but still wait for mcc notification on this as of now it is the status is that you will not be able to resign your all india round 1 seat till all india round 2 results if you participate and get upgraded that is a different issue but as of now you will not be able to quit your all india round 1 seat if there is any intimation on how to do it then mcc will intimate you over the next few days the second is unlocking registration part uh, the unlocking registration is required only if you wish to change in change your quota you want to add on some quota then this is relevant otherwise this is not relevant as far as choices are concerned in terms of fresh choice filling in terms of what your current seat status is this is not relevant this is only relevant for a change in quota let us be very clear you would have seen this screen uh, this page uh, one is on from a from a phone and one is uh, from a, a laptop or a tab so you would have seen the screen and it would have mentioned Uh, it would have given you two options i agree to unlock registration i am not agree to unlock registration so this is the final opportunity and then you also have this note saying that the process will allow candidates to edit this details and us a little bit about submitting fresh choices here etc you know we'll explain everything now who should give i agree to unlock only if you wish to add another quota in all india round 2 then you need to give unlock for example let's say you have registered only for aeq and you need to change to you are willing to change to aeq plus dnb you want to offer dnb as well then you do an unlock registration clicking i agree to unlock let's say you have registered only for aeq plus dnb you need to change it to aeq plus dnb and you want to opt for deemed as well aeq plus dnb plus deemed then you need to unlock registration and you pay the difference amount so in the first case there is no difference amount it is going to be 25k or 10k so no difference amount in the second case there is a differential amount of 1.75 lakhs 25k to 2 lakhs 
or 1.9 lakhs if it is 1 lakh, 10,000 to one, uh, 2 lakhs. So that amount needs to be paid. And this is available only till 11 a.m. of 10th Feb. Note this, it is available only till 11 a.m. of 10th Feb. So if you wish to add another quota, click on I agree to unlock. And after unlocking, you will have to re-register with the new quota. Be very careful while you are re-registering to put in all these choices because this option is available, would be available only once during All India Round 2, that is now. Who should give? I am not agree to unlock. Basically, I, I, I don't agree to un unlock the choices. This is how it is uh, present there. So, uh, candidates willing to continue with the same quota. I have taken AAQ. I still want to continue with AAQ alone. Don't need to unlock. Similarly, if you don't want to change any, the quota that you have uh, selected, AAQ plus DNB or AAQ plus uh, uh, DNB plus uh, deemed, etc., then you don't go with a no unlock option. There is no necessity to unlock. You just go and go ahead and fill choices. So don't, uh, you just select, I am not agree to unlock. So there is a confusion here that many candidates have uh, uh, had queries on. One, it said, uh, this note said after unlocking, it will be essential for the candidate to complete the registration process, which is very clear. You will have to re-register and submit fresh choices. So there are a lot of queries saying that if I have to submit fresh choices, should I unlock registration? No. What this says is, if you want to add a quota, unlock. Let us say you have filled fresh choices and then halfway through you realize that you have to add a quota. You come back, unlock, re-register with the new quota and then submit fresh choices. This is relevant for those who are halfway through submitting fresh choices and then come back and unlock. This does not say that for submitting fresh choices, you will have to unlock registration. No, this does not say that. This says clearly that if you are unlocking registration and adding a quota, then you will have to submit fresh choices, which we all understand, which may not have been required, been required to be put here. But it is very clear that for fresh choices registering alone, you don't need to unlock. If you have to add a quota, just unlock. That is very clear. So. Fresh choice filling is for everyone, has nothing to do with this selection of unlocking. So you can say, I am not agreeing to unlocking as long as you want the same quota and go ahead and fill fresh choices. It will be available for you. All India R1 status is not relevant. Your free exit, not joined, uh, join, uh, allotted and not joined, not allotted at all, etc., is not relevant for locking or unlocking. Unlocking or locking has to do only with a change in quota, like this mentioned like mentioned here and some of some are able to skip this tab i think in a tab or a, a laptop or a mobile you will be able to skip this and go to the next tab option on the top if you're able to do that no worries as long as you don't want to change the quota don't even need to select this option and you can go on to the next option so there were a few queries uh, will unlocking change my ALA, all india round on joint status no it will not change your all india round on joint seat status you will still hold on to your status if you have selected AAQ plus DNB and you're allotted a DNB seat and then you add on AAQ plus DNB plus deemed now, your first round DNB seat will still continue to be with you. There will be no change in your retained seat in your state seat that was allotted and you have joined which you're holding on now. I didn't see the unlock option when I logged in. For a few who had uh, logged in on fourth, fifth, etc., they might not have seen this entire uh, unlocked option at all. This entire screen would not have been visible for them. So for such uh, candidates, it is not an issue as long as you don't want to change the quota. Let us say I did not, let us say there is a candidate who did not see this option, but wants to change the quota. The unlock registration is available in the left tab. On the left side of the screen, when you are filling in choice, when you log in, you will see the unlock registration. You can unlock even now. So, and finally, uh, let's say there is, uh, there are some candidates who say, who had mentioned that I want do, don't want to change quota, but I assumed something that it is something else and I clicked unlock my mistake. What to do? Re-register for the same quota again and fill choices. It is most likely uh, you will not be asked to make any payment, but you can check on that. But the only option that you have after you have completed this unlock registration process is to re-register with the same quota and fill choices for All India Round 2. Ensure that you select the right quotas like you wanted to, like you had in All India Round 1 and uh, fill choices. Now, I don't hold an All India Round 1 seat now. Can I unlock from AAQ plus DNB plus DEEM to AAQ plus DNB? So basically, I want to remove a quota which is deemed usually. 
so that there are some i expect that there will be some uh, repercussions because of uh, adding on this dean quota and therefore i want to remove it one the concerns can be on refund usually the concern is on refund so basically the issue is that if you are allotted a dnb seat in all india round 2 or an aeq seat in all india round 2 in this case you have registered for aeq plus dnb plus dean but you have you are allotted an aeq or a dnb seat and you don't join you will forfeit the entire 2 lakhs paid so there is no way you will get back the 1.75 lakhs or 1.9 lakhs which were which was actually which is actually what you think you should get mcc will forfeit the entire security deposit and that is what is mentioned in the uh, brochure as the entire security deposit paid will be forfeited and candidates have checked with mcc last year requested mcc clearly forfeits the entire amount so many candidates are asking whether you can remove a dean choice so that that forfeiture of 2 lakhs doesn't happen because they may have state r2 options or other options uh, uh, they want to decide after all india round now there is no clarity on this one you can go ahead and reset but you may not be able to get that 1.75 lakhs even if you reset and go with aq plus dnb so you will not pay any additional amount last year when candidates had checked with mcc on whether this was possible changing from the aq plus dnb plus dean to aq plus dnb alone uh, basically without dnb uh, removing the dean part is possible mcc had responded saying that it was not possible but candidates were able to do that reset whether or not they got that remaining 1.75 lakhs due to this back to their account due to this uh, reset we are not sure it is up to you to take a call on this so uh, basically uh, decide on your own this reset may be possible it is up to you to take a call on it we can't assure it thank you so much for watching this video uh, if this was helpful please share it with others please share and subscribe to our channel as well and uh, we have a lot of other videos on fresh choice filling and uh, how zynard can help you with uh, smart choice filling please have a look at those videos we will be updating this round to all india round to seat matrix uh, once it is up in the mcc portal and you will be able to correlate with last year's closing ranks and fill in your choices like you did in all india round 1 thanks a lot for watching goodbye from ashok